All right, so this is my uh, water bottle tier list video. Now I'm just going to put out some, uh, well, one disclaimer actually, because, well, I, I don't really know that much about bottled water because I haven't drank bottled water in a long time. I just tend to use, you know, whole, wholesome, whole, home acquired water, you know, in my house from, you know, yeah. So now I'm just going to rank the bottled water you know, according to, you know, my preferences for it, uh, based on what I can remember. So, uh, here we go. All right. Oh, yes! Aquafina! Now then, Aquafina is the holiest brand of water on this planet. I cannot overstate that enough. Jesus came down from heaven and proclaimed that Aquafina was the blessed brand of water to be drunk by humans all across the planet. I, I cannot overstate that enough again. It is God tier water, blessed, blessed water brand, automatically S tier. You can't, you can't, you can't have a better brand of water than that. All right, now the next boxed. Okay, that is cursed. That is cursed. I am putting that right there. Boxed water is fucking cursed. I, I don't like that at all. All right. I do not like boxed water. Boxed water can can go home into an alleyway. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Crystal geyser. I. I crystal geyser. I believe that it. Yeah. That is crystal geyser. Yeah. So this is another. This is a classic, classic, um, school lunch water brand. You know, like that people drink. You know, at school lunches. Just you know, a placeholder water for whatever reason. And uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna just gonna put it in C tier. It's not it's not particularly bad. It's not particularly good either. It's it's an okay water brand. I I, I can tolerate. But all right, Dasani, Dasani water, bad bad water, automatically F tier, because it is for one I think it is pretty acidic. It's not that good tasting, and also it's made by the guys who make coca-cola so you know that it's not good water though those guys do, do not have do not have ethically you know ethically good thoughts in mind when making water brands so uh, yeah and uh oh deja blue i i'm just gonna put i'm just gonna put that i'm just gonna add a row below uh all right i i do not know what this is because I do not know what Deja Blue is. And so I cannot, you know, assess it properly. Next, Evian Water. Now, Evian Water is the airport brand of water, in my opinion. I have only seen it when going, you know, on a plane, you know, flying back and forth throughout the airways, you know, before this whole situation we're in happened. So uh, Evian, it, it, it got me through, you know, Hard times broad, and I am sure that it will do it again once the time comes. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put it in a B tier. It's not, it's not the best though, but it can certainly pull its weight. Now, all right, Fiji water. Now I have not, I think I have seen Fiji water in in the school lunch time once, once, but it, I've. I've only really seen it more often in, you know, grocery stores because Fiji water is too wholesome for, you know, school lunches. It it only exists in, you know, the grocery stores because, well, it, firstly, it is a blocky bottle, so a uh, plus one point to uniqueness, and secondly, it tastes it it tastes pretty all right. I have not really remembered any, you know. Uh, visible discrepancy uh, between the Fiji water taste and you know, good old home acquired water taste. So uh, yeah, it's plus the vapor wave aesthetic. Well, kind of vapor wave aesthetic. I'm not sure how a bottle could have that aesthetic, but it looks vapor wavy. So uh, yeah, it, it it is pretty unique. B tier uh, above Evian though. All right, what is this? 35 great value water oh this is this is this is generic water yeah that, that is generic water 
it is just not unique in the slightest, but it is not bad at all, so, uh, you know, I'm gonna put it in C tier, not D tier. Yeah, alright, next, what is this? Natural spring water, alright, I think, I feel, I think this is a generic, another generic water bottle brand, but I do not know what it is. Uh, as with, uh, life water here, yeah. And wait, what is, what is that? Oh, this is generic. I can feel that. I feel that so hard. That, that, that is generic. That is a generic water bottle brand. All right. But I don't, I haven't drank, I haven't drunk that particular brand. So I'm going to put it in the, I do not know what this is. Oh, oh, fuck that. Nestle water. F tier period. It is created with the the souls of workers. It is created on the foundations of exploitation, along with many other, many of its other products. I cannot, you know, tell what sort of motivations this water has in mind, but I, I know that they are, they are not good. They are not good. This water is cursed. It is a scourge upon this earth, and it must be destroyed at all costs. All right, next one. Uh, Niagara. I do not know what that is. I do not know what this is either. Now then, Poland Spring. Poland Spring is, well, yet another, you know, uh, school lunch water. It, I know it came like two sizes. It came in the small, you know, wholesome little pint size. And it came in the larger, you know, size of bottle that we're seeing here. And, and I do say that it is the... Probably the best school lunch water br water brand out there. I'm going to put it in B tier between Fiji and Evian water because, well, it's just been with me throughout most of my life and I have to appreciate it. Now then, Smart Water. Smart Water is, is quite a unique brand like Fiji, but, you know, firstly, it has like this unique little thing going on in the inside where it tells you about, you know, clouds and shit. Now, like... It's distilled in the same, you know, technique that clouds quote unquote distill water. And I have to give it, you know, points for that. But in my opinion, I don't I don't really, you know, think that it is, you know, a good water brand. It's it's okay. It's okay. I have drank it I have drunk it several times and it's it's okay. But Well, I I think I think it's gonna go in it, it something feels slightly off about this water, but it it's not it's not completely bad either. So yeah, D tier. All right, finally we have the Voss water. Now then, firstly I have to say that it comes in glass bottles, so be prepared to you know handle this one with care. And also it it doesn't really doesn't really feel you know like like a good you know casual drink. It's just just like sterile capitalist water just very sterile doesn't feel it, it got it's got that elegant feel but it, it's just it kind of feels too expensive you know too kind of you know posh for you know casual time so uh, i have to put it in d tier 2 below smart water now then all right i have to think Thank you all for watching this tier list video. I have been your host, Xenon Quirk 996, and uh, yeah, have a nice day.